This is 5-Minute Power Platform, where I'll be doing short experiments in Dynamics, Flow, Power Apps, and more. Today I've got a SharePoint document library that has some attributes as well as images uploaded, and we're going to build a mobile application, a mobile Power Apps Canvas application on top of this that will view and maintain the data in this SharePoint document library. This is the SharePoint document library I've built. It's a title, a description, then each one has an attachment and initially the attachment is just an image that corresponds to the letter of the record that I put in, item A, item B, item C. So let's go into Power Apps and build an application that can maintain this list. So we'll start off with a phone layout and we'll choose SharePoint as our data source. Let's copy that website out of there, or SharePoint site. We'll paste it in as the data source for SharePoint. It's going to list our list. Ours is called Sample List and we'll select that and we'll get going. So while our app is building here, it's starting to put together an app based on our data. And you can see that it came up with an initial guess, which is a good starting point. But let's start editing the layout of each of these list items. So the first thing we do, we see this first one is uh, tagged to the compliance ID. We're going to change it to the title. And so we'll see item A pop in there. This one that's, that's tied to the description, we're going to shrink that down so we can see it a little easier. And now we've got a list that shows uh, that's tied so we can edit each of the items in SharePoint. We can even edit them here. We'll see when we go back into SharePoint, those edits are reflected right away. So immediately this application is tied to SharePoint. And there's our AAAA edit. So let's clean up some of the uh, edit screens now. And to do that, we can go into the details screen here on the left. And you see each one of these fields is already tied here, but there's an easy way that Power Apps give, gives us that's going to list all of the SharePoint fields so we don't need to lay them on one by one. We can just uncheck them and they'll be removed from the form and anything we want left on, we just leave checked. There's also this attachment element, which gives us this nice ability to upload and, and manage uh, attachments for each one of these SharePoint document library records. So the same for the edit screen, we'll do the same thing. We'll go into the list of fields, we'll uncheck a few, Let's check a few more here. We'll add in the attachments control, and that'll give us a way of viewing and maintaining the attachments for each uh, document library entry. So let's run this thing so we can try it. We can see we have a nice simple form now with just kind of the key fields. You can see the list of attachments on the view form. And on the edit form, I can go in and fix the change we made earlier. I can also remove a file and attach a new one here. So now when I go in and look at this, I see the attachments removed and the AAAA is fixed. B still has an attachment, but A doesn't. So now let's edit again. Let's add another attachment. Let's attach a letter G to this one. So we'll give item A letter G, hit the check mark, and we'll go back into SharePoint. And we'll see that that upload art has already completed, and now letter G is attached as our attachment for item A. So let's add those images into our uh, main page here. And so we'll shrink that description a little bit. We're going to add on an image control here. You see it immediately sizes to our row size. We'll shrink it down a little bit more. Move it to the right. There it goes. And now we have to tie it to our image. So, so this item is the current item we're working with in SharePoint. You see there's an attachments. The attachments is a list. And so we... Uh, we just need the first item out of it. We're just going to assume that each record has one item, just in a simple experiment. So we're going to take the first one out of it, put the value there, and then that should render the image. We'll see them start popping in. So we can see GBC because we just attached item G, or the G letter to item A earlier. So let's fix that. Let's remove letter G. Let's put item A back, and we'll see when the list re-renders. Everything looks as it should. So that's a quick overview of how to take a power app and attach it to a SharePoint list.